Hello everyone, my name is Azatru. How are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And in this video, I have six details you may have missed in Battlefront 2, because the recent two updates of Battlefront 2 have included a couple of things that may have gone unnoticed to you. They're really nice changes and details, and originally it was going to be five details, so it sounded better, but I also found a six detail when I was making this video, so I thought I'd include it. Plus, there's a bonus, bit of a glitch detail, I'm pretty sure it is a glitch, that I'll put at the end of this video, which I think you'll find is cool. Some stuff in this video I actually talked about in the comments of my previous details you may have missed video because I didn't include them because I didn't want to call it like the 13 things you may have missed. It didn't really have the same ring to it. But anyway, I found some other stuff and decided to put them in this video in case you didn't see the comments. So the first detail is going to be the new and improved LEAT laser visual effects. So the beam of the LEAT has changed quite a bit. It's actually a lot brighter, larger and looks really, really nice. It genuinely looks so much better than the previous version which we've had since the game released. The next detail is a colour change to the Art Troopers Rangefinder Ping which was included in the latest hotfix. So DICE have changed the colour from a darkish blue to a light blue for the Art Troopers Ping on the ability where you can scan and detect enemies because when you activate it there will be a flash on the rangefinder and there will be a ping that scans and detects enemies. And this has gone from a dark blue to a light blue. And I actually prefer the dark blue, but also I kind of like the lightness of the light blue. It, it is easier to see, that's for sure. Now let's talk about a brand new blaster model. So the DC-17 is the standard officer pistol and this is used in the Clone Wars. But when the game released, people noticed that the barrel length of this weapon was significantly shorter than as seen in Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars TV show. Despite this, no changes were made until the Art Troopers were introduced and the Art Troopers dual wield two DC-17s. As you can see, they've increased the barrel across the board, so not just the Art Trooper gets this upgrade, but also the Standard Officer, the longer barrel model, which is more accurate to the Clone Wars TV show and Revenge of the Sith. The next detail is specific to Capital Supremacy. So if you make your way onto, say, for example, the Dreadnought as the clones, but you lose that round. So you deboard and you have to fight back and go back up to the Dreadnought and you go up there for a second time, but you actually previously broke the locks to getting to the second stage of the Dreadnought, but didn't quite succeed. Well, you'll notice there's a bunch of dead droids all around the Dreadnought. There's also scorch marks where blasters have hit and stuff like that. It's really, really cool and same goes for the Venator as well. If you're the droids and you go up to the Venator and you lose but then come back after you've destroyed the first phase but didn't quite complete the second stage on the capital ship, you will notice there will be dead clones all around and there's going to be scorch marks here and there. There'll be helmetless clone troopers as well, not just ones in helmets. And uh, it looks really interesting. I didn't think DICE would go to the lengths to add this sort of stuff, but it definitely adds a little bit more to the atmosphere of the game mode. Now, here is a detail specific to the Venator capital ship. So some of the control panels within the Venator actually has a schematic on for the Twilight. This is Anakin Skywalker's personal ship during the first few seasons of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I thought this was a really nice detail and easter egg to put in there. The fact we do have the Twilight in the game in some way is pretty cool and it's a nice reference back to the Clone Wars TV show. Another detail with damage to the capital ships in Capital Supremacy is the damage to the rear end of each of the capital ships. So if you destroy one of the last targets in one ship but you deboard, if you head back and look up you will see that ship has received damage at the back of the ship which is pretty cool. It's nice that again they've added damage and just adds a little bit more to the atmosphere because you know that ship has sustained damage inside and you can see it from the outside when you're on the ground. I really like this little touch here and there. Alright so that's all of the actual details that DICE intended to put into the game. But what if I told you about a glitch that probably isn't intended? So we have on the ground phase of Capital Supremacy, dwarf spider droids. If you shoot at them, they are all unkillable, no matter how much firepower you use them. Except one. Weirdly, no matter which side you're on, CIS or the Republic, if you look at this exact spider droid and shoot at it, or, you know, use a grenade, 
one hit will blow it up. One shot of a blaster will blow it up. But if you try it on any of the others, even if you try those first, try them after you've destroyed it, they don't work. I've tried every combination. It's just that one. So I'm pretty sure this is a glitch. Maybe they intended all of the spider droids to actually blow up, or maybe they intended that no spider droid could be blown up by a single blaster shot. I don't know. Maybe this will be fixed in the future update, but again, I just don't know. It's definitely a glitch, and I just thought I'd mention it because some of you guys probably didn't know about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like if you did, and let me know in the comment section below if you learned anything new. And uh, thank you very much for the support on the last details video. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as well. Be sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them, and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.